Hello everyone. Good morning. In this session, we are going to create a Adobe Form driver program, which is going to call the Adobe Form with the help of their generated function module and display the Adobe Form preview. And this is how in user exit or enhancement or in uh, form, this we write the driver program from where the Adobe form gets called and display. In order to display the Adobe form programmatically, we use three function module. One is the FP job open. Second one is the FP underscore function underscore module underscore name. And the third one is the FP underscore job underscore close. Let's go and do in the system. We have already created this function uh, Adobe form in our last class, okay? And it is giving the beautiful output over here. You can just up job that this is the output which we have seen in our last class in the Adobe form, right? Just go back and the same output we want to get from the driver program. Go and create a driver program. Go to AC38 and Z Adobe driver program. Okay, click on this create button and Adobe form driver program. Type executable, click on the save button, local object, select this local object. Now it is selected and we have come over here. Okay, so the first function module the first step call the fm fp job open okay in a smart form this job open and all is not required here in adobe form it is required if we don't give we will not be able to call it go here in the pattern fp underscore job underscore open and one dummy parameter we have to pass it at this point of time in order to avoid the syntax error give create one ls underscore params type control v and pass this particular parameter over here and now enable this exception as enabling the exception is always a good practice and here we can handle the exception that is also recommended okay now now i'm going to call the adobe form so as we know that we have to call the function module so what is the function module for this adobe form just run this and this is the function module copy this one and come over here remove this click on this pattern control v press enter and automatically you can see that the signature has populated over here and in this signature we can pass some dummy value over here so p underscore e b e l n in this parameter also we can define so Actually, we have to define the parameters. P underscore E B E L N type E B E L N and full stop. Copy this and paste it over here. Already I have written. Now uh, here enable the exception. Okay, and here we can handle the exception. And after that, we have to you know write the function module fp job close if you don't write fp job close you will not be able to see the output okay fp job close press enter and now uh just save it over here this is importing is not required exceptions we can enable and printer now it's fine just save it 
check it and activate it. Press F8. Give some dummy value over here, one, two, three, four, something like that. Press F8. Give LP0 a one. Print preview, and we are able to see the output, the same output, right? But what happens? That same as in the smart form, if you remember that when we move the smart form from one system to another system, we don't know which function module corresponding to that a smart form is going to be generated. It depends on the number ranges, right? So if in quality system, right? So what I'm trying to tell for those people who does not understand the concept like how it's going to behave in the different system. Just I would like to explain a little bit over here. Let's suppose this is your development system where you are doing the development. That it will go to the quality system, right? And then it will go to the production system. Okay. So in a smart form, what happens? The concept, if you remember that here, suppose your function module is ending with, you know, some something like this. Also there, your function module will be there and it will be ending with some number let us support double zero uh, five. Now the same smart form, if go into the quality here, it will generate the function module ending with, you know, six or seven or eight. Let's suppose here eight. Okay. Why? Because the number ranges which is available over here, which has been defined for this uh, uh, a smartphone function module up to seven, it has been occupied, so it will take the eight. Okay, so there is no guarantee that whatever the function module over here corresponding to the smart form in the development system that not will be necessarily over there, it can be different. So, in order to avoid, and the same thing is going to over here, whatever the smartphone function module or Adobe form function module, same holds good for the Adobe form also. So in case of a smart form or Adobe form, if we're going to the different system, you know, it is not guarantee. There is no guarantee that the name of the corresponding function module, which has been generated after the activation is going to be same in all the system. So now what is the function module corresponding to the smart form, the same smart form in the quality? What is the function module in production corresponding to the same smart form in the production? To get that one, SAP has given one function module. That function module is nothing but here in the Adobe, we have FP underscore function underscore module underscore and name. So let's go and call that function module fp underscore function underscore module underscore name in the smart form we have ssf underscore function ssf this is the different ssf here in adobe form we have fp okay so i underscore name over here just give the name of the adobe form which you have created so name of the adobe form is going to be same across the system but we cannot call the Adobe form, we have to call the, you know, function module in order to generate the Adobe form or a smart form. So for that purpose, it's necessary to identify the name of the function module. Okay, so I'm passing this name of the Adobe form, right? And it will give me in the corresponding system, the name of the, you know, function module. So here I will give the GV underscore Adobe FM, FM, okay? And this too, we can comment it over here. GV underscore Adobe underscore FM, we can pass it over here dynamically, okay? One more thing I would like to share over here if you go and change in the Adobe form layout in the same system, okay? Here, in the same system, if you come to the layout and change 
in some binding and extra and if you add some extra field and all and if you activate it will generate the different function module in the same system okay you can try yourself okay and experience this one okay so even to avoid any scenario means avoid any confusion in the same system if you are going to use the same function module and if you are going to change in the same system also the same adobe form right in with respect to layout some binding some extra field some extra object then it's not 369 it will become 370 okay so for that purpose also it is necessary to understand the uh, corresponding function module currently what it is this particular function module will give you the exactly the current function module name okay so now just save it over here and check the syntax now the gv underscore adobe fm actually i have to declare so come over here in the data and declare this one so type its data element is func name just go and check click on this yes button you can see that data element is the func name okay copy this go back and give the data element name over here so that declaration is successful so now i have given and check the syntax now it's working fine and activate it it will be activated now so it is now activated press f8 and give some dummy value over here now press f8 and i'm just pressing f8 give the lp01 print preview and you can see that the data is getting displayed okay fine so this is how we can generate uh, we can create the you know this is how we can create the uh, adobe form driver program fine so hope it's clear for you in the next session we will see some another stuff and once again, I would like to tell you over here, I got some ping on WhatsApp and in the comment that uh, I will be discussing only these things or will I be taking some uh, form from a scratch to like uh, full form development like purchase order or some invoice. So actually at this point of time, we are just preparing the basics. Okay, we are just uh, making our fundamental strongs once our fundamentals is going to be strong we'll be creating one interactive adobe form for the purchase order and then uh, you know uh, th that will be from a scratch actually from a scratch to full development okay and we'll try to uh, put maximum functionality over there maximum layout over there in terms of adobe so let's stop it over here and we'll meet in the next video. Bye bye. Have a nice day.